16.3%. Eh? We'll have to do something about that. This is Guy Christian Knight with Let's Play Legend of Indiana Jones 2, and this is Kingdom of the Crystal Skull Part 1 once more. I'm returning to this because there's still quite a bit I gotta do here. As you can see, there are the five story mode levels that I've done in the past, Hanger Havoc and all the other stuff. But you can see I'm missing quite a few characters in all the vehicles, so let's return to this movie and go get them. The reason why I'm going and getting them is because the second and third modes of the game require you having specific characters and, in um, one case, vehicles. So, otherwise you honestly, they won't allow you to do it because like you need certain characters to do certain puzzles. So, yeah, you have to get them. It's absolute in order to do stuff. So, yeah, um, just keep in mind, I've already gotten one of the characters technically because that was the brawler back when I finished Cafe Chaos. Anyways, here's the hot rod. Probably the easiest of vehicles to get. Uh, that spawns, I think, like, after, um, probably the motorcycle course, or, I don't know, it spawns after a certain point. Uh, break down this wall here, and we get the tricycle! The awesomest vehicle in the game. Whee! And I got stuck. <laughs> Alright, hold on for a sec. Okay, there he is. Alright, so yeah, um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and skip uh, past the battles whenever I have to do something like this. I'm trying to avoid breaking stuff because I don't want to break any more power brick stuff. Anyways, uh, here's the Agent 12,500, uh, 12, and here's the motorbike! We're getting so much stuff already. But yeah, um, when it comes to the characters that you have to um, kill a bunch of in order to just unlock them, I'm just gonna probably fast forward through it and, you know, just like resume the video as soon as I get to the normal part. Alright, so here's a little race thing. Like, we've seen a few of those already. Basically, what you need to do is um, a circle will pop up right in front of the thing and it'll tell you what vehicle you need in order to accomplish it. And for this first one here, we need the hot rod. <laughs> run over a few people and I'm trying not to run into anything. All right, so in order to start, just pass through the two circles. And all you do is just, you follow um, the path of studs through these little markers here in a certain amount of time. And when you accomplish all of them, you will find, um, let's wait for it. There you go. The last one is the checkered flag one. And whenever you complete a race, oh, hold on a sec. Don't you just hate it when these people interrupt you? Anyways, here's the guy, last last guy over here, so let's go get, get him. Anyways, as I was saying, whenever you complete a race, you unlock, uh, you typically unlock new characters. Anyways, here's the Russian with the US disguise, but, uh, yeah, completing the Hot Rod race unlocked, um, two characters back over at the museum, or, no, no, university, what am I saying? Uh, one of them was actually the professor guy that we've been seeing a lot of in, um, the, the intro cutscenes for, you know, at least this move, uh, this hub, and then the other three hubs, I think, anyways. But anyways, um, you'll notice that the race is still there. You can do it anytime you want. Here's the greaser, and here's Stanforth. Stanforth is the book character of this uh, movie, so you need him in order to do any of the scholar things in this hub, whatever. But yeah, you can do the races over and over again. It really doesn't matter, though, after the first time. And the easy thing you want to know about the races is that um, there's always a path of studs going whenever you do it the first time, so, um, yeah, just follow the studs and you should be fine. Uh, it kind of sucks, though, when, you know, like, you fail the race and you have, like, two or three studs left. <laughs> Alright, so, to get the next vehicle, we'll have Mutt repair this thing here. I can't do everything off the bat because I do need to unlock a few characters, but, um, uh, hopefully I can get all this stuff into one video, that would be very nice. Anyways, here is the Saber Jet, the most expensive thing that you can buy in this movie. And it's flying machine time! Alright, so, uh, controls for flying vehicles are pretty much just like regular cars. If you press Y, though, you'll shoot out in a parachute and just slowly land on the ground. 
And right now I'm looking for the air race. And there it is. Alright, so... Yes, you can count on at the very least one flying race per movie. It always happens. So... And it, it's kind of hard to, you know, navigate with flying vehicles. But remember, just follow the stud that got lost there for a sec. Follow the stud path and you'll be fine. Alright, so... Completing the Saber Jet race gets us those two characters, so we'll return back to the military base and we'll see where they. Oh! <laughs> Whoop. Alright, so yeah, parachute! Whoa! <laughs> that scared me. Alright, so yeah, you don't have to fight these guys, they are Taylor and General Ross. Uh, General Ross is the rocket launcher character of this gay, I mean, movie. Why am I. Why do I keep saying game? Blech. But yeah, once you get General Ross, you can shoot this little thing over here. And it gets you another vehicle! The Army Jeep. 15,000. Alright, so we'll get back in the Saber Jet because, um, well, hold on a sec. Actually, I need to get, do something first. So there's actually, uh, one or two things uh, I can do. Actually, let's head over here first, to Doomtown. Okay, so, back at Doomtown! Woo! And there's a racing, but I don't have that vehicle yet because I actually need a specific character first. Now, it, there are a few unlockable characters here, but in order to access them, um, I believe you have to put out that fire. See, like, right now you can't do anything to the, the mannequin things or whatever. Um, where's the water? <laughs> I'm lost. Okay, there it is. Alright, so basically all you need to do is just uh, slowly put out all the fires that the um, conclusion of Doomtown put up. And then, yeah, that's all you really need to do here. So just slowly, just a... Crap! Ah, uh, didn't mean to do that. Damn it, I want to save these for all one video. I'm like, I hate having to repeat stuff or like showing old stuff or like cutting out stuff like as I did with the brawler, whatever. Let's just put the rest of this fire out before I hit any more things. And of course, I'm probably going to have to speed up the video just so I could fit this all. <laughs> kind of like zombies, huh? Actually, they pretty much act like zombies. But yeah, once you beat all of them, you unlock four characters at once. The mannequin, girl, woman, man, and boy, I think. So yeah, um, there's really nothing special with these guys. The mannequin boy and uh, woman have the high jumping thing like all female characters in this game. Uh, but other than that, there's really nothing to them. They, <laughs> they walk around funny though, because they're zombies. Keep that in mind later on. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go back to the military base because I believe I need the saber jet in order to get to the next part here. Get these dudes. Alright, so and all right so you absolutely need the saber jet in order to do this next part here and this is to access this little square of land right here I want to make sure I propel right because if you just do it willy-nilly the the game will like throw you outside just stupid anyways enemies <laughs> There he is. Come here, you. I don't want to go inside that bunker because that's actually like a secret course. But anyways, here's the Russian digger, the shovel guy of this movie. And when you flip that switch, you can open up that gate and you can finally go in between those two areas. Now, the digger is a very, very important um, character because he, we need him in order to access one of the vehicles. So, yeah, it's kind of like a one-two punch thing, whatever. Don't really care. Uh, is there anything in here? No, I can't even break that down. Uh, what about here? Uh, just a few studs, alright. So yeah, now we can finally dig out that refrigerator that we uh, landed into here, like, after the, s the, the first course, actually. But yeah, now we can finally dig this thing up. And when we do, it turns into... The amazing British car! <laughs> the greatest vehicle in this entire game, hands down. It's a drivable refrigerator. 
<laughs> of all the things, man. All right, so there was a oh whoa, <laughs> what happened there? Got a good underside view of that though. Anyways, there was that racetrack back down at Doomtown, so we'll go ahead and drive this sucker all the way down there and go see what this unlocks. Alright, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to be going through the other direction, so let's just carefully drive around and... No! What the... Ah! Oh, how fortunate, huh? It just backs me into... Ah! Alright, calm down. Alright, let's just... This, uh, damn, another power block. Damn. Alright, so I'm trying to get this in. The damn thing pushed me off so I couldn't drive straight. Alright, there we go. Things went good. No! No, no, no! No, no! Go, go! Okay, there we go. Oh, man. This sucks. Alright, so bridge car! And there we go. So I lost that random woman back at Cafe Chaos. So we'll go grab her now. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, by the way, I've been playing Fable 3 a lot. I'm halfway through it by now. Um, I'm Queen of Albion, and you heard me right. I said Queen. And, um, yeah, I'm working on it now. I'm juggling college, though. And speaking of college, this is the college female! <laughs> and so, yeah, now we got one more character to go. And so, yeah, and... Yeah, just want to say, Fable 3 is awesome. Or like, yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> Which is probably why this video is coming out so late. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we get Mutt and kind of a hidden little repair thing back here, but repair this little gate and slowly but surely it will open up revealing another vehicle. It's the fire truck. And that might be the last one too. Is it? Nope. Nah, I got one more left. Okay, so one more vehicle and one more character to go. Alright, so now we'll head back this way because I do believe we need someone in order to get to this last character. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need the digger guy, and I'm pretty sure I left him over here, so um, hopefully he's still here. Or doesn't look like he is. Alright. Alright, so if you're ever looking for a character, like if you've misplaced someone, always go back to the first place, uh, like to the place where you unlock them, because that's where, that's honestly where they're going to be, except for like Indiana, Mutt, like all the story characters, because they'll follow you everywhere. But um, when it comes to all the other characters, just go back to where you first unlock them, and you'll be able to find them there. So if you want the digger, you can come back here, and there he is! <laughs> the funny thing about the rush is that they, they jump weird, like, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so we'll have him come back all the way over here, and here's a little dig spot. And this summons a bunch of prairie dogs. It's whack a prairie dog! Where are we? And so the goal of this little tiny little thing here is the, um, to bash all these prairie dogs when they come out. So literally just like whack-a-mole, only whack a prairie dog. You can call them moles, I guess. All right, so yeah, you, you've officially whacked them uh, when you see the stars revolving around their heads and just chasing them around isn't doing me anything, so I'm just gonna wait. All right, come on out. Come on. There you are. And there we go. We summon a vehicle and the vehicle. So yeah, both the last things of this movie and all in one shot. So that's pretty fortunate. All right, so let's go ahead and buy these guys and see where they are. Ice cream van! And oh, this guy's an enemy. Okay, well, let's beat him up. Hey, are And this unlocks the hangar guard. So that's it. We've gotten all the characters and all the vehicles of Hub 1 of Crystal School. So, this is Guy Christian 9, this is Lynn Let's Play Lego Indiana Jones, and in the next episode, I will put all these characters and vehicles to good use by starting the second mode of this game, Treasure Mode. See you then, guys.